Students know and use a deliberate design process for generating ideas, testing theories, creating innovative artifacts, or solving authentic problems. The students are attempting to determine if estrogen can act as a preventative to the degradation of dopamine-producing neurons in the brain. Though we can't actually induce Parkinson's, but we can use a neurotoxin to try to simulate those Parkinsonian symptoms in zebrafish, which were our neurological model. They had experimental groups, control groups, and really kind of looking at the timing of that estrogen exposure. So they're in this whole experimental design process of constantly looking at what we did, what is it telling us, where do we go next? Sometimes we had more questions than answers, which was really a great place to be as young scientists. So much of the test-driven process of education, if you make a mistake, there's something punitive. Well, for here, every time we do something that didn't give us maybe the results we were looking for, it's data. And data isn't right or wrong. Data gives you another question to ask. The first thing you try may not work. So what do we do? We go back to the drawing board, rewrite the protocol, retest, and then you try again.